Hey guys, today we'll be checking out a very affordable single board computer called UE2X1. It is powered by an x86 CPU and has some really nice features. Inside the box, of course we have the board itself. At first glance, we can see it has active cooling, so many connectors and it's quite compact. Here we have a 12V power adapter and that's pretty much all the box contents. Talking about the X1, it has really nice active cooler. On the front, we got an Ethernet port, two USB 2.0 ports, and two USB 3.0 ports. On the opposite side, we have a power button, a 3.5mm audio jack, a full size HDMI port, LEDs, and a barrel jack for power. This port comes with a lot of connectors, these include GPIO pins, an SPI and I2C interface, UART 1, 2, and 3, and two additional USB 2.0 ports. On the opposite side, we have a reset switch, a mini HDMI port, and a micro SD card slot. That's not all, on the back we have an M.2 M key and M.2 E key PCIe slot. And there's more, it also has SATA 3.0 and a MEP display connector. So many IOS coming out of this thing. Talking about the specs, it has Intel 11th Gen N5105 processor, clocked up to 2.9 GHz. Regarding the RAM and storage, it comes in many different variants ranging between 110 to 220 bucks depending on how much RAM and onboard storage you want. You can check out their site for more info. The one we got here has 8 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of storage. It features Intel integrated graphics and sports dual 4K displays at 60 Hz. It doesn't come with any Wi-Fi or Bluetooth but it sports Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.2 which means you have to install an additional card to the PCIe slot. It's so power efficient pulling out just 6 to 14 watt from the wall. If we see the front it has similar interface to the Raspberry Pi 3. It's a bit larger but has more power. They also made this nice metal case which you have to buy separately. It's pretty easy to install so let me do it real quick. Ok, so this is how it looks with the case, pretty cool. Now let's power it on and see it in the action. As you can see I have set up everything, the device comes with Windows 11 pre-installed on the eMMC, but you can install any operating system of your choice because we got the x86 chipset, so the compatibility is already there. Windows 11 running very snappy on this thing, we'll start with the normal browsing and 4K video streaming. Alright guys, it streamed 4K video surprisingly smooth without any lag or any frame drop. It could be a really nice little media server or a streaming device. I'm actually quite impressed with the performance because I initially thought Windows 11 is a heavy operating system and would get some lags here and there, but it actually runs really smooth. Normal browsing, checking emails or even office work, this device handles everything effortlessly. Next we'll check out some games. Here we have Cuphead running and we're getting an average of 60 FPS, which is pretty good. It's running it very smoothly. It can play more similar games easily and can also do emulation. So this was just an example of how you can do normal day to day task on it. But we can do much more things on it, like many projects, for example a Proxmox server or a mini NAS because we can throw more storage to it. We can even expand it by adding this M.2 SATA adapter. Or we can build Plex Media Server, Cloud Storage, or we can use it as a powerful development board and much more. We can make tons of things with it and the best part is it comes at a really affordable price. Links to all items are in the description box so be sure to check them out. So that's pretty much it for today. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and share your thoughts or ideas in the comment box. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.